Acércate. Come on. <laughs> Eso, eso. Ándale, córrele. President Trump said he wanted a big, fat, beautiful wall. These are his 30 by 30 foot options. One of these eight contestants could soon stretch 2,000 miles across the border. There's a chance that one of, the, one of them gets selected, eight of them get selected, or a mix of their characteristics gets selected uh, for construction. They sit like giant tombstones just east of San Diego in the no man's land right on the U.S.-Mexico border. The president has consistently said a wall will be built along the entire border. So what happens now? Does the president come out here and literally say, okay, I like that one? We're going to test it for breachability for the subterranean aspect. Can we dig under it? Can we cut through it? Can we scale over it? The problem is you have to have see-through. You have to know what's on the other side of the wall. And I mean, a preference is something like that. The problem is you don't know what's on the other side of the wall. And if you don't know what's on, I mean, you could be two feet away from a criminal cartel and you don't even know they're there. When I have a see-through wall, sir, I know what's approaching the border before it approaches. We have great partners in Mexico with the law enforcement on that side. I can call them for assistance. I don't get the opportunity to get ahead of a threat if I can't see it approaching. So the new uh, secondary wall is going to be uh, 14 miles uh, for starting at the beach. Uh, it's going to mirror our current uh, primary wall that we have. This man came over and told us he'd experienced trying to cross the border when he was younger. Is this new big wall is going to stop Mexicans from coming to the U.S.? No sé por qué Donald Trump está aferrado con el con el gasto innecesario de esto, porque todo se va a ver la manera de cómo cruzar, cómo estar ahí adentro trabajando. 